Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk to you guys about a house named Flores. Have you heard of this company? So basically I'm ready to head out and figuring out my scent of the day today. I wanted to talk to you guys about Flores. I have you know a few minutes to kill. So Flores is a company from England. They've been around since the 17th century, 1730 to be exact. They're located in the heart of London and German Street, 89 German Street. And that store is still there to this day. The founder Juan Flores and his wife founded the store basically as a shaving, grooming and fragrance uh, location, which uh, did quite well and hence the fact that they're still around to this day. It's a really, really beloved company in London and there has been a lot of celebrities associated with this brand such as um, Winston Churchill and Marilyn Monroe, just to name a couple. But if you do some research, you'll be able to see that a lot of famous people actually wore these fragrances. They've actually received a royal warrant in 1820 from King George IV. It's a really influential company in England. This company has over 50 cents in their portfolio. I'm here to talk about two particular fragrances today that I'm really fond of. It's called Suntel and Honey Oud. I've tried about a dozen of their fragrances, which is really not even scratching the surface. Like I said, they have 50 plus, but I've tried a few and I have something really cool for you guys at the end of the video. So let's talk about these fragrances. Basically, if you haven't tried them, I would really suggest you try them. They're both unisex. I think both people can, I think anyone can, can rock them, uh, whether you're a guy or a gal you're gonna smell fantastic and you can garner a lot of compliments because they're very, very nice fragrances. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys about both of these fragrances that are potentially my scent of the day today. The first one I'm gonna be talking about is Honey Oud. Let's look at the presentation. Now, the presentation is pretty much the same for these, for, for these fragrances, but Honey Oud in particular has such an amazing presentation. I wanna just show you guys real quickly how they come. So it has an outer sleeve, which you can pull on this right here and it'll reveal a real nice golden case and has all the appointments right here, really well made, really chic. When you remove this cap, or this top of the box, you're left with a beautiful presentation. The bottle sits perfectly in here, and as you pull the bottle, which is really snug, there you have it. They are really attentive to detail. Uh, the word Flores is right here on the side. Uh, on the cap, you have the symbol, the logo of the company embossed. Uh, the sprayers around these are really nice as well. Really good mist. Your information down here, made in England. Again, really, really attentive to detail. Great looking bottle. Amazing scent. I'm going to get to it right now. So Honey Oud is a fantastic scent. You know, for the weather upon us, you know, fall, winter that's coming up, this is perfect for both seasons. It's really nice as when you first blast it, you know, the honey is extremely prominent. It's really like a, a you know, almost like a sap syrupy kind of honey. The oud here is not medicinal. It's not in your face front and center. So it's definitely not gonna be a uh, pungent kind of oud or an offensive kind of oud. This is a fragrance that is in the same, not the same genre, it's, it's a little different, but it's in the same kind of vicinity as Royal Oud from Creed, which is a oud fragrance that you can wear pretty much all year round. But again, I think this is because it's sweet and the honey is so, I think it's really great for the fall and winter season. Now this is one of those scents that when you first spray it, the introduction along will blow your socks off. I mean, it really did it to me. The top notes are Sicilian bergamot with the honey. In the middle, you're gonna have some patchouli, some Tunisian rose. The oud's definitely there. You'll be able to, to perceive it, but it's again, not gonna be punching you in the face. It's gonna be a very subtle and very smooth kind of oud, which is really, I really appreciate these kind of ouds. And then in the base of this fragrance, you're gonna get some amber, some resins, some musk, and some vanilla. It's almost like a vanilla bourbon because you're gonna get a little bit of a booziness going on as well. So it, it's all in all a fantastic fragrance. I think it's really regal. Um, it's seduction in a bottle. You know, it's something that I would really, really rock you know, coming Valentine's Day, you know, I think it's evocative of, you know, well-groomed, well-dressed, evening wear, uh, romantic. It's a great, great scent. If you haven't tried, definitely try it, which will probably not be my scent of the day today, which brings me to my next point. The other amazing scent from this house, it's called Santal. Let's tackle that one right now. So the next one we're going to talk about is Santal, which, you know, I think probably both of these are definitely the favorites for me. I've tried, like I said, about 12 of them and I chose Santal and Honey Oud as my favorites from the house. But I think Santal is a little more versatile. I think this is something that could definitely be a signature scent, something that's worthy of all year round. Um, the appointments are beautiful. The bottles look amazing. Again, very similar to the other one. The juice is not as dark as the other one, but you have the same kind of appointments as you did with the other one. So let's talk about this one. 
So Centel is an amazing scent. What you get out of it, well, what I get out of it is basically uh, a fusion between Coromandel by Chanel, Liz, Liz Exclusives, um, paired up with uh, Gucci Envy, you know, the, the amazing discontinued Gucci Envy. So think about both of those fragrances. Very smooth, very beautiful, uh, long lasting, creamy. Uh, that's what I get out of this fragrance. It's really an amazing oriental woody fragrance which has some fougere kind of aspects to it. It has a real nice note of lavender in there. So if you're a fan, you definitely gotta try this one out. It has a mouthy lemon, grass, cardamom, which I'm a really big fan. It's got cloves and nutmeg, which will make it real nice and creamy along with the sandalwood. You know, it also has vetiver, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. Just like Honey Oud, it's a fantastic fragrance. I love it. Definitely gonna be my scent of the day. T today I'm gonna spray it right now for you guys on camera. Um, and again, if you haven't tried the House of Flores, please do. They have amazing, amazing compositions. And what I'm gonna do today, you know, I'm gonna give you guys the samples that I actually tried and I had some extra ones. I had, I think, a whole bunch of samples from this house from getting these two fragrances. So basically I'm gonna get a couple packets of brand new samples that I haven't worn and I'm gonna give it to you guys because they're duplicates. You know, they're, they're, you know, I have doubles, triples of some of them. So I made two packets, let me show you. So I'm gonna be giving out two of these packets. These are six different uh, you know, uh, compositions from this company. I'm gonna have all of the ones that are in this packet listed in the description box. These packets contain six amazing compositions and they're all two ML vials each. So they're brand new. I'm gonna give two of these packets to two lucky viewers and I'm gonna tell you what you need to do to win these or to, to try to get them. So very simple, to participate, all you need to do is be a subscriber to Max Forte's channel, yours truly. Also, like this video if you will. And last but not least, comment down below if you have smelled anything from this brand. And if you have, what are your top three favorites from Flores? Uh, you know, again, have you tried it? Which ones are your favorite? Like this video and be a subscriber. That's it. Uh, at the end of this month, I'm gonna, you know, do a quick drawing at random.com and I'm gonna select two people to get these six, pa these packets of six different compositions from Flores. Now, the last thing here, let me spray my scent of the day. So these are quite nice. These are, uh, this one actually older toilet, but it performs like another parfum. So I'm going to work. So a couple scents, I mean, a couple shots and I'm good to go. So good luck to all. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more. Smell well and stay fragrant. Talk to you soon. Ciao.